seeing as I get a lot of questions about who I am, what I do, and many more questions, um, I realized that an introductory video is long overdue. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you more about who Missy is, what she does, and I'm going to be answering all of your questions that you've asked me in the comment section, that you've asked in the post that I put out. And um, so let's get right into that. If you have more questions that has not been answered by the end of this video, you can ask them in the comment section. I would answer them for you. So who am I? <laughs> but before I proceed to the Q&A's, my name is Missy. You can call me the black coffee, with that cream or sugar. Yes. Um, if you're new to this channel, thank you so much. Welcome. I love you. Subscribe for more awesome content. And if you're an old subscriber, I cannot love you less. Like, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for always watching and for sharing. So let's get right into today's topic. So I have a couple of questions here that have been asked in the comment section. So I'm going to be taking them one after the other. The first one is, what is your full name? My full name is Oluwaya Missy Esonla Missy for short. And you can also call me Black Coffee. Is that cream or sugar? <laughs> so the next question, which tribe in Nigeria are you from? I'm Yoruba, we are one of the largest and biggest and richest tribe in Nigeria in terms of culture, wealth, and knowledge. And I'm specifically from Ekiti State. You can Google it, Ekiti, E-K-I-T-I, Ekiti State, where the fountain of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Now you know where I got it from. <laughs> we are the teachers, we're the lecturers, we're the, um, the lawyers and doctors and architects. We love education and we love vocational work as well. So yes, Ekiti. Um, next question, are you married? Okay, I'm not married yet, but I am in a very committed relationship with a Kenyan man. I actually relocated to Kenya because of him. And um, yeah, I, we had to take that decision because I'm able to move around because of my work. He's unable to move around because of his work. So that's that. <laughs> Yeah, someone was asking me earlier in one of the comments that oh, are you married to Kenyan man? Where is it from? What's his tribe? Blah blah blah. I'm like, should I tell you his surname as well? Anyway, I'm not going to be going into all the details, but he's Kenyan and that's that. Oh, the next question. Somebody also also asked this one in the comment section. A lady, is he treating you well? Hmm. <laughs> yes, he is. For those asking if he's treating me well, um, he's taking really good care of me. He's a perfect gentleman, he's, he's nice, and um, you guys should be proud of him. <laughs> he's making you all proud, he's doing a good job. <laughs> I mean like, see my skin? It's popping. <laughs> anyway, next question, what do I do for a living? Hmm, this one, this one will be a bit long because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not just telling you guys to just know. I'm also saying it in case there's anybody out there that needs this this can this um what do I call it motivation yeah so I'll start by saying I am a fashion content creator and a travel content creator amongst other things so as a fashion content creator I help brands create contents around their business so user generated content how do I explain what user generated content is Okay, anyway, <laughs> user-generated content, it means that I take your product and um, I use it and I make a video while using it. So for fashion, it can be me wearing your outfit when I go out to like, maybe I travel somewhere or I go on a trip somewhere, I wear your outfit, I rock it. I can also do like, you know, all the transition videos and use some trending audios on Instagram. So that is how I earn as a fashion content creator. And it's more than that, but I don't want this video to be like too long. <laughs> and um, the next one is travel content creator. So as a travel content creator, it's almost like the same thing, creating content for brands, but I have to go to where your place is, maybe you, your event center, maybe you're a travel and tour company and you want to, Guys, I haven't had a sponsored trip yet. I am manifesting that. I am speaking that into 2023 
and i'm hoping that i get my first and the more sponsored trips in 2023 so in 2023 i'm looking forward to brands calling me to say okay we want you to come to so and so, and so place to create content to share with your audience or you know just create it and give it to us let us share it because um you're doing amazingly well with your travel page and all of that so yeah that is how i end as a travel content creator so i'm going to be talking about other things that i do but i just want to say this again i have two pages on instagram the first one is i am black coffee which is where i do the fashion and travel content where i can create like 10 10 ways to style one outfit if you're selling a fashion piece and you want me to create those type of contents yes i do that and i have another page where i i teach businesses how to grow how to be visible how to make money on instagram on social media so that's what the other page is about it's called voice of marketing and in voice of marketing i'm focusing mainly on teaching people how to do video contents how to because video content is the future like video content is the in thing if you're not creating video content and you're trying to sell on social media like you're wasting time you need to be putting those videos out there there are so many different types of videos you can create for your business to make money to convince people to attract people to retain them to you know let's not get into all that but <laughs> yeah so um I remember when I was in Ghana in 2020, it was my second time relocating to Ghana. The first time I went was in 2018. Um, I couldn't get a job. I was frustrated, so I went back to Nigeria. So in 2020, the same thing almost happened, except for God, and except for the fact that, you know, there was lockdown. After like three weeks, I had arrived. Lockdown started, COVID. And so, um, I was unable to return even though I got tired, I got frustrated, I couldn't return. So I had to start thinking, what can I do to earn money from home? How can I make money? Because I am I am the ambassador for making money from home. I love when you can just be in the comfort of your home and do like so many things and you make money from it. So I started researching this thing and I stumbled on a lot of things. Um, is it to cook for people? Is it to sew dresses? Is it to buy materials and sell? Is it to... I, I, came, I came across so many things, but um, I settled for social media marketing and management. And that has helped me. That has really helped me in the last three years to get my foot in, to, to you know, start somewhere to grow from there to make something of myself and i'm putting it out to you out there if you're there uh you're watching this and you're in like the same situation you can send me a dm on instagram i'm going to teach you what i know on how to make money from home um okay so right now i'm going to talk about like other skills that i have and other ways that i earn so i also earn from you know like i said i was looking i was looking for things to do so social media management and marketing led me to learning so many soft skills like so many i can do so many things from a to z like i would just sit on my own and do is it the is it the editing the, the shooting the what i do everything <laughs> i can do everything so um other ways that i earn is graphic designing for businesses brand strategies for businesses i love brand strategies for businesses you know why because like I said, I can do all of these things and I don't want to spend like right now I'm moving from social media management. So I don't because I don't want to be spending 30 days on somebody's page, helping them do everything from A to Z. And the money is not even close to what I'm supposed to be earning. Like, like my, my colleagues in the UK, in the US that do the same thing, they're earning nothing less than a thousand dollar a month. But in Africa, Nigeria, Ghana for, for, for <laughs> especially, people people pay so low for this thing so i'm like okay i'm moving on from that but um what was i saying i'm moving on from that but right now it helped me learn how to do graphics how to do video marketing content strategy so with content strategy i work on like what your brand needs what kind of content we're supposed to put out there i help you work on those contents I help you with your captions i help you with your hashtag research but i don't help you with the posting you do the posting by yourself <laughs> so it's in a form of like a calendar it's there for one full month 
so you just go on monday what am i supposed to post i already put it there for you just post it you copy your caption you write your whatever that is what i am focusing on for voice of marketing in 2022 and also training people on how to do video marketing better because i can't do it for everybody so i am going to be training more businesses on how to do that for their business and um, i think that's what 2023 is going to be all about and other things that god has planned for 2023 so i think i have spoken enough about what i do and i took my time on that not because i want to talk about oh i'm doing this no because i want to inspire somebody out there there is so much that you can do um i wrote something down i think oh i don't know if it's here i don't know if it's here let me get it oh i got it so what i was looking for is something that i wrote down like i said i am really a firm believer of making money from home and any with your mobile phone like you see this phone i'm using to shoot there's so much that i can do with it i can earn so much money with my phone As, uh, and i'm going to be directing this one at the ladies do not just carry expensive phone for nothing guy girl you need to make money with that phone do not just carry phone and be snapping and snapchatting up and down what are you doing <laughs> 2023 you better make that phone make money for you and there is so much that you can do you can do videography photography you can do designing you can do content creation yes when i started i was designing on my phone i was designing on my phone yes before i got laptop and then i was it became easier there's so much you can do for using your phone you know so let's do that in 2023 don't be broke i'm beautiful mm -mm. so moving on next question are you a real princess you look like the owner of ife oh okay <laughs> so um i'm not a princess of any earthly king i am a I am a princess of the Most High God. Yes, I'm a princess of God. In the um, that's it. My father is not a king. <laughs> so um, before I move on from that, the only of Ife is the king of one of the biggest kingdoms in Yoruba land. Yoruba land, and um, it's uh, Ocean States. It's located in the southwest of Nigeria. That is who the only of Ife is. It's not my father at all. <laughs> It's not my father, Tomatele is my father, and um, yeah, that's that. But uh, let's move on to the next question. <laughs> how, how did you meet your KL boyfriend? Mm. Okay, this just is long ago. <laughs> okay, so we met in Ghana, we met in Ghana, he was transferred to Accra for work, but um, along the line, he had to come back to Kenya to do one or two things, but then. He couldn't make it back to Accra again. They, they they told him to stay back here. So, um, when we met, the connection was instant. Like, um, I think it was at a point in our lives where we both wanted something real, something that is not like wasting time. Cause <laughs> my dating life in Ghana was so boring before I met him. It was so boring. It was so like I wasn't even dating anymore. I was just like putting all my time into work. Because the relationships you get in Ghana most of the time is mostly like, you know, there has to be an exchange. The ladies are interested in money, the guys are interested in sex, so it's like, it's it's messed, it's messed up. The whole relationship system is messed up. Even when you meet a guy in the church, my sister, no lose God. I lose God, <laughs> hey, I did one time. Um, I met a guy in the church and I was thinking, oh, okay, a church boy, this one should be better. Hmm, it was not any better, yeah. So I was just, you know, investing all of my time into my work. That was when I was learning like a whole lot of skills. I was learning a lot of things. So um, we met in Accra and a um, few months later, I had to come back here. But we had a, we had a very beautiful, beautiful time in Accra together. And... Um, yeah, it was a time where he was also like tired. It was like, okay, he wants to go back home. It's not, he's not eating good food. He was struggling with the food, adjusting. I also had that struggle when I came here. So um, I would make sure from time to time to um, look for something can and prepare it before it comes. So the first thing I prepared, I think was 
chapati yes i think it was chapati i prepared the first thing so we went to the mall we got some ingredients it was like he's not sure these things can work for chapati but i'm like chill <laughs> so we got some ingredients we got some chicken and we made chicken stew and we ate chapati he was very 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 happy that day like wow it's been so long so i think a few days later i got some some uh what's it called mince flour yes although he said it wasn't really like the same thing but we made ugali and i got some sukumawiki sukumawiki we made some sauce with a chicken and it was good and you know it was just oh, i'm home you know i think he finally got that feeling of home and um, our connection was like magical so he knew from the start what he wanted he knew this was it when i had to relocate here i was not having a lot of thoughts like what if what if what if but yeah <laughs> we did it and um that's how we met any more questions i think there are questions <laughs> mm -hmm. um okay would you take kenya as your home yes i would and i have that even a question let's move on <laughs> somebody said wait i'll be seeing some cute nikins okay nikins means kenya nigerian babies <laughs> good i can't even love when i saw this i was like huh what nikins but then he explained that kenya nigerian babies so um the nikins will be here in no time guys don't worry uh, once you bring yams and you bring cows to my father's house in Ikiti State, you have your Nikes. <laughs> and that is all the question that I have gotten so far. Um, yeah, so I think the episode has to end here. If you have more questions, please ask in the comments section. If you have any um, opinions, feedbacks, from like the old video the old content just you know drop them in the comment section and somebody also said that he has not seen a lot of kenyans marrying or dating nigerians mm. what are your thoughts about that is that true because i don't know i feel like anyway we are far from each other kenya is really far from mm, nigeria ghana had to travel 10 hours to get here from ghana so yeah it's it's a long way down here so i guess maybe that's why but have you seen like nigerians getting married to kenyans or dating each other let me know <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more content coming your way in january i will be doing more videos with more kenyan content creators who will be going out to the streets We'll be doing so many things together so stay tuned for that and if you're a content creator in kenya and you want to do some collabs together send me a dm on instagram or drop a comment let's work together and do something nice for africa okay guys bye love you